Good morning, welcome back. Um, it's Saturday. Um, <clears throat> I've decided to bite the bullet this week and uh, I got up at half past five, drove up to, uh, set off at six, drove up to uh, Rothway Car Park in Borradale. Um, the draw was too much for me. I said I wasn't going to come back till after the, uh, the summer all this, so at the minute I've just come out of Rothway, Roth, Rothway and um, I'm just going along the uh, Cumbria Way um, on the way back up, up Borrowdale. So that's my current view. Very pretty. So I've um, I've come to bag some more Wayne Wrights. The problem I've got is most of the Wayne Wrights I need are in quite popular areas now. As I said before, I have kind of I've gone for the lowest hanging fruit a lot of the time. So it's just whatever's easier to park and what easiest for me to travel up for. So, but today I'm gonna go up Borrowdale and um, I'm headed towards kind of Eagle Crag area and uh, scoot round to Old Scarf and uh, camp it just because it's, it's it's early so I might get past Old Scarf but my, uh, my plan is then to head north and then there's a couple um, just on the, uh, the east side of Borrowdale further up further north so see if I can get those in the morning if not it's it's one of them so just heading into Borrowdale to the start of the walk Well, I've um, left the path down there, I don't know if you can see it, across the uh, the river in the valley and just come, I've just come more or less straight up here, follow this, uh, follow this gill up, there's a gill that comes up. But I've had a mishap, I'm not doing very, I'm not doing very well with um, walking poles. I, uh, I came round, just skirted round the, uh, the bottom of these rocks here. The end of me, it looked like it was on a solid bit of ground. It went behind two rocks and I gave and I fell. It got the full weight of me on it. I didn't fall, but it was enough to, let me just get the other end. It was enough to, uh, there we go. So I think what I'm gonna have to do, I've got this one, so I need it for me. Uh, I need one of them at least for me, uh, my cricket, so I'm going to have to be careful with this one. <sighs> so annoying. I haven't had them long these. So what I'm going to do is, I think, try and reshape this end. And uh, bob it in there. And then at least I've got a kind of a short pole that I can use for the front of the, uh, the cricket. Just need to go find a rock and an anvil now. <laughs> Bloody hell. Well, these things happen. I'm assuming this is the very end, top, highest point of Eagle Crag. I think that's, uh, is that butter fell? The peaky peak one. Scar fell behind there in cloud. 
I think this is, um, I think it's Guadamara. Oh no, Guadamara might be over. And then it drops down to uh, Bessie Boat. There's a camp down there with handy beavers. Up near town, town that leaves. Straight down Borrowdale. I think that's Blee or oh, I can't remember. Blee. Blee Rig is it? I don't know, I can't remember. All scattered somewhere over the back of there, somewhere. High race is over that way. Over the back of there. Sergeant Crack just in front of us. Oh, I can't spot her. Thought a few spots are in, but I'm still pretty warm to be honest. I think I'll probably put a layer on now. Now it's a bit more exposed up here. So I'll just take my bag off, get another layer on, and get up on over to uh, Sergeant Crag. Sergeant Crag, oops, Sergeant Crag, 175. I'm getting there. What an amazing view. Just come up from uh, that crossing from Sergeant Crag. I can just see something at the top of it now. Um, and up, and instead of carrying on up towards Rays and all that, I Rays, you cut off along some uh, crags called Long Crag at the top of, uh, I think it's Green Up Gill, I think it's called. Cut straight across, and then we pick up the main path, one of the main paths. It's quite, I can see a path that I, le I left earlier that comes up, that comes up from the valley and there's one or two people on that. I think that's the, uh, I think that's part of the coast to coast, it comes up and then down and over and I think you end up, you end up at Patterdale then I think. So yeah, there's one or two people on that. I met I met some Australians and American that were walking together. They were doing the coast to coast, and they were telling me that they'd um, they'd had to take refuge and stay an extra night in the uh, in the boarding house that the lady let them stay there um, because uh, because of the, the the kind of really bad weather. She says I won't even bother going out on that. But she might say that. No, no that was sound advice. High winds. It's no fun. But yeah, it's all really opened up now. So that's the top of the gill. That's where I cut off. And up and back along. I can just see, I think that must be Bath Bassenthwaite in the distance there. Skiddo. Gold scarfs up here. This is where I'm abedding, so that'll be my 176th. Gold scarf. Um, That's number 176. Try to slow down on this bit. Way too early. Just see past some guys like a dad and two dads and the sons. All the roll mats and stuff. Absolutely. 
absolutely fantastic. So you've got Skiddo, our old turbulent catheter. Um, Clough head, sorry, Clough head, down there, uh, across over to uh, Elvelin. Just um, there. Dolly Wagon. You can see Coffer Pike and uh, Fairfield. See Talon. All the way down to. Uh, that must be Windermere down there. to Markham and then you've got the, uh, the back of the Langdales here which is kind of this is just up there the Scarfells over there towards the edge get a good uh, there's a little trod off, off that way there's trods off everywhere to be honest anyway great views of the uh, the Elvelin range right I've got set up a little bit early it's a bit earlier than I'd like, but um, I set off early. But um, I'm in a bit of a quandary what to do. It's uh, it's nice and high up on Old Scarf, and it's good views. But I have got another couple of um, Wayne rights to do, but they're only like 400 meters, and they're just they're just up above, um, just north of here, just up above um, Borrowdale, and. Um, Got a feeling they'll be a bit busier to be honest because they're, they're a bit more accessible. Um, so I don't really want to go back down there. So I've come off, I'm just behind a little, I'm hidden behind a little ledge down off the um, Ulscaf summit. So it's it's giving me a bit of um, shelter as well because there's, there's quite a strong westerly. I think it said there were to be 20 to 25 mile an hour gusts, which this, this tent can, can handle, but you know. Why put yourself through it if it's uh, if you can get a better night's sleep? So I've come off the the east side. So I've got instead of looking over towards Borrowdale and that side, uh, the west, I've actually got nice views of the east. Um, so I've just got the kettle on, making a brew. It's all a bit uh, disorganised in here, but. Um, it's just actually stopped raining. It's just lashed it down. Um, sorry about my feet. Excuse that. Put you off your dinner or your tea whenever you're watching this. I'm just uh, I'm just airing them out because I've had um, I've had my uh, my trail runners on just my normal uh, socks that are hung up there. Um, and it's as I said earlier, it's absolutely sailed it down this week. I think. Well, one or two areas in the uh, in the national park were uh, were a bit flooded. I think there looked to be a lot of water down. Uh, uh, I saw a guy walking, wading through a, over a path further down as I was coming in. Um, so it looks like some of the uh, some of the streams and the be the bigger becks have kind of bust the banks at some point. 
there's just lagoons of water around in some places but uh, so the tops are just like waterlogged um, but uh, yeah it's it's not rained all day it's I just saw some big black clouds and I thought well I'm gonna set up camp soon anyway so I just chucked it up so yeah as you've probably seen earlier I had a bit of a mishap with me my walking pole I've only had these a, a month or two um, I might see if I can get a bottom part uh, it's only the bottom part that's, that's split a bit of an unfortunate accident really I didn't, I didn't even fall on it um, I was coming up a very steep off piece bit um, and I, I didn't see it but it was all mossy and it just got jammed between two uh, two rocks and the momentum taking it forward I kind of stumbled because it jammed and um, I just kind of well, I, I didn't fall because it was not enough room to fall because it was so steep. <laughs> but I just leaned on it and it, it just sheared off. Um, but it would be full weight, so um, I suppose it, it did actually stop me from, you know, probably falling or colliding or whatever. So, but it is what it is. You use your, you you buy a kit, you use it, and you know, you expect it to be. Uh, I do like these poles. They're probably they're probably the sturdiest, the the, the Mac, Lecky Macalu light. Um, I like them because they've got that kind of extended grip down. But they're uh, they always that the kind of met the because uh, I need them to pitch me my tent. They always seem to make it feel they, they feel a bit more um, stable than the other. Probably a little bit thicker. So. As you can probably hear, it's just started showering again. It's not heavy. But uh, blowing it wind. So when it stops, I might I might just um, go around and, and tighten my uh, my bits of my, my, my short guys and things just to get it a bit more taut. Uh, but it's a little bit uneven, so it's really tight at one side and then the other side it's not, but. It's all right. Right, kettle's boiled. I'm gonna make a brew. All right, so I'll bring you back in a while. Well. <clears throat> there will definitely not be a sunset tonight, so it's quite nippy actually, and it keeps uh, it keeps showering every now and again. So I'm just going to get in the uh, get into the uh, kit bag, I think, and get warm. Let's just listen to some uh, listen to some uh, radio, and um, probably have a drink in a bit. But uh, yeah, I've enjoyed it. Cloud base is probably dropped. It's probably about just over 100 metres above me. So um, I think it's supposed to drop a little bit more during the night as well. Might get away with it. It's at about 750 metres, I think. Be nice to have some views to walk out tomorrow. So I've got a bit of a longer walk out. I've got it's it's about um, four and a half miles I think out. Just got to drop down, go across some more tops. There's Great Crag and um, I forget the other one. I'm hopeless. <laughs> Get me, get my jacket off, get in the kit bag and uh, chill out and relax. So I'll bid you a good night. Well, good morning. 
it's about quarter past five I think um, there haven't been much to see to be honest so I haven't brought it back I'm still in bed and I've made a cuppa and, um, and had a bit of breakfast in bed the sun's up but there's been no kind of notable glorious sunrise or anything still good to see so I think this morning it'll be just a case of getting my clubber together and a, and a slow pack up I've got a bit of a walk out today so I'm not going to hang around this morning um, it's about four and a half what did I, what did I say about four, and, about four and a half mile it's not too far but I just need to get these other two weighing rights and um, and I'll be away Not to Borrowdale. It's really dropped off now, the wind. It's been quite windy in the night. Quite blustery. When, when the showers blew through, it, it got very, very blustery. Um, but it's quite still now. It, it gets up every now and again a little bit, but... A bit of a broken night's sleep, really. Anyway, right, I'm gonna finish my cuppa and then I'm gonna get my clobber together. And whoosh, so it's Great Crag and oh god, I've still forgotten that other one. I'll tell you in a minute. <laughs> anybody that knew, anybody would think I knew what I was doing. See you in a bit. up it's a bit nippy this morning um, it was pretty cloudy this morning but it's, it's it's lifted a fair bit now you can see the tops I couldn't see the tops earlier uh, going north it's just kissing the top of uh, Skiddo uh, and then we've got the uh, the old Valley range behind me. I showed you last night. And then we go, that's me. Got packed up, that's my stuff. All collected together and ready to go. So it's um it's just 634. Um I'm gonna hit the trail now. Grab these other two. Right. Come time, at least I can got water to carry now anyway. <laughs> Bloody heavy. Oh my crap in a bag. Right, let's go. Quick check in. The little one, and I keep forgetting its name, is Brundfell. Brundfell. So there you go, that's the last one. I keep forgetting its name. Right, so we can see where we're going now. That's lovely, that. That's the end of the uh, El Velling Range, Clough Head. Lee Town in front of us and High Tove. So we're going to follow this path down. Come off down there. I think that's Great Crag down there. And then uh, Brunfell is that little peak poking up just above. So we'll come back down and then back down to Borrowdale. That was a tough little stretch coming down across there. I knew it'd be boggy. Um, but, yeah. I think I've seen some people camp at this. Um, that's uh, Doctown. 
it looks absolutely lovely surrounded by all this, uh, this heather. Going to make his way down. I can see a path. That's the proper path. That. That's a proper footpath. We're just on. There's no paths uh, coming down from where I've come off. Whole scarf. It's all just like trods. And uh, we've gone into that boggy bit, and it all just disappeared. So it was just a case of making a bearing and just taking a straight line. So get back on there. That's Dock Town. So a great crag must be a bit further on. Right, let's get down there. What a gorgeous, peaceful place. One seven seven, great crag. Oh, nice. <laughs> Have to look on map and see what that is. Oh, well in range over that way. And so we just come off the top of there. Sorry if it blows a bit, it's uh, wind's picked up a bit here. Right, um, I got Great Craig done. I got um, Joppelty How, Brump, Brump Fell. Um, it's just up there, I can see it. It comes straight down. I haven't been able to film anything else because, unbeknown to me, it's um, Borrowdale Marathon today. And it was like uh, coming up the opposite way on the bridle way, coming down from Brump Fell. It was like. Uh, Piccadilly Circus, which you can't complain, it's great. <laughs> really nice, polite lot, to be honest. But I did say morning to about 420 people. <laughs> so, nah, nice people. Um, I just get ducking out of the way. So, I'm, we're back at the car, as you can tell. So, I'm going to sign off here. Um, bit of a mixed one, this. After the How Girls. No sun, sunset, no sunrise, pretty great actually, but I still enjoyed it, some lovely uh, scenery and uh, at least it didn't rain, so you can't complain. Just lovely to get back to the Lake District, I've kind of missed it to be honest, but uh, it, it, is, it is quite busy, but 
anyway so on that note thank you for watching and i'll uh, see you on the next one all right thanks bye